In this video, you'll learn how to use the jQuery filter method. With jQuery filter, you reduce the number of elements returned by a query. So here, I'm saying give me every ally on the page and add the class styled. And the styled class just simply adds some padding and a background color. And as you can see, I've got here the seven days of the week. So all seven days have the uh, styled class added. But what if I add this filter call? So here what I'm doing is saying, well, give me every ally on the page, but filter it down to just the even elements. And this happens to be a string that jQuery understands, colon even. So give me every ally on the page, filter it down to just the even elements, and then add the class style. I could change this to odd, and I would get the odd elements. Now keep in mind that in JavaScript uh, arrays are zero based. So here I've got the zero element, the one element, the two element, the three element, and that's why I've got odd. Sunday is actually the sixth element. And if I change it back to even, you can see that we've got the zero element, the two element, and the four element, and the six element. So you can pass a string that jQuery understands to reduce the number of elements returned by a query. You can also pass a function to the filter method. So here, I've got a whole bunch of uh, list items, and what I'm saying is instead of just passing a string, I'm passing a function, and this function says, well, just return the elements where index modulus 5 equals 0. So basically give me every fifth element. So I've got the 0 element, the fifth element, the 10th element, the 15th element, and so forth. And if I change this to a 3, I'll get the 0 element, the 3 element, the 6 element, and the 9 element, and so forth. If I pass in my function uh, something like this, I can actually say something even more specific and say, well, just give me the elements. Just reduce this down to the elements whose text is less than six characters. So I'm once again looking for every li on the page, and I'm filtering it down to just the elements whose text length is less than six. So all of these elements have less than six characters. This one has five, this one has five, this one has four, this one has three, this one has four. So if I change this, let's just say to five, I'm going to get even less. These have three and this one has four. And if I change it to four, I'm going to get even less. Just this one has three characters. And if I change it to let's say eight, I'm going to get more because there are um, more uh, elements in this array or this unordered list that have ca uh, strings whose text is less than eight characters. So the point being here is that with the filter function, you take a query, a, J a jQuery query, and you reduce the number of elements based on the criteria that you pass to the filter method. Your criteria can be as simple as a string or it could be a function that gives a much, much more specific criteria on the elements that you'd like to filter out of the original query. If you found this video helpful, you can subscribe to my channel by clicking the red subscribe button right under the video. You can also take a look at my blog where there are many articles and tutorials about web development. Thanks very much for watching.